peace and tranquility of the seaside town of Ramsgate was shattered for a second time in a generation at the outbreak of World War II. Its harbour and close proximity to the Battle of Britain pilots at Manston Airfield brought it within the line of fire. On the 24th of August 1940, Ramsgate was the first town in Kent to suffer a heavy bombing raid when over 500 bombs were dropped in less than five minutes. With whole areas of the town devastated, how was it that only 31 people were killed? The answer lies some 60 feet below the town, where the local authorities had the foresight to build a network of tunnels which formed the most extensive, purpose-built air raid shelter system in Great Britain. Bill Hayton's wife, Frances, who was seven at the time, was amongst those who made the tunnels feel like home. Mother used to bring her pet budgie car, Joey, down, and my wife used to bring her dolls and, uh, and uh, uh, certainly uh, school books. The tunnels were equipped with lighting, seating, bunk beds and toilets, and every effort was made to create a town below the ground. There were signposts showing in which direction you were going. Because as you can imagine down here, you've no concept of direction. You've no idea where you are. So there were signposts saying towards Arclough Square or to the High Street. On the surface, every signpost had been removed, not in the tunnel. Still clearly visible and signposted. Regular patrols by the wardens and the fire brigade ensured the safety of the people below, making it an underground world where the traumas of war could be forgotten. He had a, held her eighth birthday and it coincided with a, another young man's uh, 11th birthday. So all the parents uh, put something into the uh, celebration with their meagre rations. After tea, the children all dressed up in fancy dress. My wife was uh, dressed up as a, a nurse, her elder sister was a, uh, a cowboy, and uh, they all did a turn, and obviously they danced, and they sang, and they told a few jokes, and I entertained all the families that were congregated down here uh, in the air raid. The tunnels were credited with saving hundreds of lives as the people of Ramsgate bravely faced the horrors of war. And many of today's families owe their existence to the shelter provided by the tunnels. You, know, you didn't have stress counselling or anything like that in those days. You just got up in the morning. If your house was there, you was OK. If it wasn't, it wasn't. And you went to school and that was the end of it. The importance of the tunnel system to the town of Ramsgate can't be overstated. But one section of the shelter system played another major role in the history of the town, and it predates the 1939 tunnels by more than 75 years. First opened in 1863, a three-quarter mile long railway tunnel descended from Broadstairs to the Sands Station on Ramsgate Seafront, where it was to bring travellers to the heart of the town for over 60 years. The railways played an important role in bringing wealth and prosperity to Ramsgate, but in 1926, rationalisation took place and the harbour station closed. The Sands Station was transformed into the Merry England Fun Fair and Amusement Arcade and the railway tunnel was abandoned. Until 1936, when a narrow gauge electric railway was installed to bring passengers from the new Dumpton Park mainline station to the seafront via a new spur tunnel in Hearson Road. In the tunnel, illuminated tableau depicting scenes from around the world were installed to amuse the passengers on the five-minute ride. This was known as the World Scenic Railway and later became the Tunnel Railway. The train was suspended at the outbreak of war and the tunnel became a refuge for almost a thousand people who had lost their own homes in the frequent bombing and shelling attacks. The Chalk Air Raid tunnels were sealed at the end of the war and remained forgotten beneath the town. But the scenic railway was brought back into use and remained a favourite with the townsfolk until it finally closed in 1965. The railway tunnel was finally sealed and remains forgotten to this day. The harbour station remained in use as Merry England until this major part of the town's history was tragically consumed by fire in 1998. All signs of the Sand Station and Merry England have now disappeared, but the tunnels remain intact beneath the town. 
the Ramsgate Tunnels Heritage Group is hoping that once again these historic tunnels can play their part in bringing visitors, wealth and prosperity to the town. We want to improve the future of the town by turning to its past. But how can these forgotten tunnels best be used to provide an all-weather, all-year-round attraction? The group is developing an ambitious plan to preserve the town's heritage whilst creating a visitor attraction, educational resource and iconic venue unrivaled anywhere in the southeast, if not the country. Thanks to a tremendous amount of public support, phase one of the project is well underway with a £53,000 grant from the big lottery. Oral histories of those who used the tunnels during World War II are being recorded and professional surveys are underway to establish the true condition of the tunnels. To help the group with developing its plans, we've consulted the public in a series of events throughout 2011 and will continue to do so in 2012. We want to create an experience that people from all over the UK and Europe will want to come and see. Our outline vision for phase two of the project is to develop the first 140 metres of the railway tunnel and open available sections of the chalk tunnels. The first section will be developed into a shop and cafeteria area known as the tunnel stop. Dimensions of the tunnel allow for a two-storey structure and the cafe area will also be available for private functions. Next comes the tunnel story, an exhibition area where Ramsgate's underground history can be displayed and explained in an entertaining and informative way. From the arrival of the first train at the harbour station, through bombing and shelling of the Second World War, to the last train of the scenic railway in 1965, the legend of this unique labyrinth will be presented with real-life stories and imaginative displays. Section 3, the tunnel's time machine, will take our heritage into another dimension. With the use of virtual reality, visitors will be taken back into our past and immersed in events as they occur. From prehistory, Ramsgate has been at the forefront of our nation's development. The Roman Empire, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings and Christianity have all arrived on Thanet's shores. There can be few towns with so much varied history to exhibit in such a unique venue. With state-of-the-art projection and sound systems, you could find yourself caught up in an invasion by marauding Viking warriors, or you could be under the ocean exploring the marine life around our shores. With virtual reality, there is no limit. Finally, for phase two, will be the Tunnels Explorer, where you prepare for a guided tour of the chalk air raid shelter system that saved so many lives during World War II. After donning your personal safety equipment and viewing a short introductory film, you will be escorted into the tunnels which will be equipped as they were in the war years, and you will see entrances where hundreds of people rushed to take cover when the sirens sounded. You may even meet up with some characters who don't realise the war has ended. With so much to offer, Ramsgate tunnels are once again destined to become one of the town's greatest assets. With your help and support, we can make this a leading attraction, bringing visitors and prosperity back to the town. <laughs>